I hope you'll forgive their rude remarks. Everyone's feeling a bit uneasy about the information blackout surrounding this mission. Yeah, nobody seems to know anything. You're quite young for a chief engineer. Why is everybody flirting with me, damn it? You'd be better off working on something more practical like naval engineering. No, I'm pretty sure that working on the battle androids is going to help me out in the long run here. You guys get to conduct your research while getting red carpet treatment on a military ship. On top of that, you'll get credit for active duty as well. Nice. I gotta get hazard pay. This guy over here too, isn't that? Yeah. No need to worry, just one more gate jump and this operation will very much be over. We don't have to resort to that unfinished weapon either. Oh. I see how it is. You don't you don't like my robot, do you? My android. My android will kick your ass. Sup, Captain? Yeah, just a little late. Just a little late. Don't worry about it. Now that you're here, can you please show us Cosmos' data? Uh, yes. Thanks to Alan, I think. Did Jan really leave without the data? Is that what that was? She left without something, but... I don't remember Alan saying specifically what I it was. I see. I understand the basic specs. So... Where's the actual field data? Shut up. Well, it's not quite ready. All I can provide today is up to A7. So you don't have it? Well, we'll begin testing with a mock-up unit very soon. But the system is still a little unstable and... Aren't you just making excuses? Listen, Chief Uzuki. Why do you think you're on this ship? Think about that for a moment. Because I'm awesome? This fleet may be newly outfitted, but it was assembled under major time constraints. And we have eggs units, but the 100 series observational units that go with them aren't available until later. What would happen if by some chance we were attacked by those things? I don't think I need to describe the outcome to you. The purpose of Cosmos deployment was to address this issue. Or am I mistaken? No, sir. Listen. You're not in a laboratory anymore. You're on a warship. This is a battlefield. Cosmos was supposed to be our frontline defense here, and now you're telling us it hasn't even woken up yet. There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of bed. That thing's only meaningful to us when it's fully operational. Why can't you- Let it go, Commander. These people are working under serious time constraints. Not really. Just like our own squadron. We're two years behind. Besides, they're only one step away from actual field testing. Hopefully. In the end, we all want to see this operation completed without having to resort to that thing. Don't we? Of course, Captain. But I believe we... Ugh, who's calling me? Is there a problem? Uh, uh, no. Something urgent's come up. That's not if good. If you'll excuse me. I wonder what's wrong. I don't know. Well, never mind. That's enough for today, Chief Uzuki. Yeah, you got yelled at enough. Let me know if any new developments arise. I'm sorry we failed to meet your expectations. Oh, there's no need to apologize. What's important to us is how reliable the system is once we start using it. Rushing the project won't get us anywhere. Right. So just calm down and take as much time as you need. The government's funding it all anyway, right? <laughs> I'm not sure that's you must be tired. that funny. Take the rest of the day off. O okay, so the rest of the day is gone. We're, we're good then. So, hooray, we got scolded. You have anything new to say, Captain, before I go? Anything cool? Oh, fine. Go and get some rest. There's an email for Shiohan. Read it. God, so many emails, like I said, there's, but especially early on. Uh, that, that, no, that will start going down. 
Just forward you the file that you need. Please save the file attached to this email. The attached file is a plugin called Sprinkle, which is being distributed for free by a software company called Magnelli Systems. I'll give you a brief explanation of Sprinkle's capabilities for your reference. Um, what? This plugin works by taking advantage of unused cycles on the connection gear so it does not burden the connection gears of your functions. It repeats required processes processes only when the connection gear is not being used the results of its calculations are automatically fed back to boris and the secret server that's the general idea behind sprinkle right, let's work hard though it's really the connection gear that's doing all the work huh i may be able to finish it even if you don't help uh, but you know we do need to help this is re this is regarding the secret weapon uh that we need to work on uh, how do I... There we go. Download. Save attachment. So, we can get out of the email system yet again. I know, a lot of emails. Uh, actually, speaking of email, do I have enough money? Yeah, I got enough money. Okay, don't buy anything. <laughs> uh, I don't think you'll need it, but uh, don't don't buy anything. That'd, that'd be my, con my, my initial reaction to you uh, right now. I think I actually need to turn it on. No, I think it just automatically downloads and, and equips. Yeah, uh, that's everything that's equipped. So, Sprinkle is automatically equipped. We are ready to get out of here. Yes, let's go to the lower level. I think I actually do have enough money. Now, we actually need... Oh. Looks like there's going to be a cutscene here. No. No. Uh. You have a package from Vector Headquarters? Please claim your package at the eggs hangar. Okay. Um. What? I wasn't expecting any shipment. Is this from Miyuki? What's going on at the eggs hangar? So the quickest way to get there is, of course, this way again. Past these guards that are willing to chase us so that we can get med kits. <laughs> Shion does get flirted a lot in this, uh, flirted with a lot in this game. And, well, it's early on, like I said. Things change. Things change. Of course they do. This wouldn't be a monumental RPG if we just stayed on the ship the entire time, I'll say that. So, let's just head over here. I think this is the guy we need to talk to. Right, there's a package for me. It looks dangerous, so be careful while handling it. Ah, yes, it's the MWS. I guess she still intends to use me as her guinea pig. Yes, but we have gotten, well, Xion's weapon. Very, very nice. Now... I think there's actually a specific spot where I need to go to. Um, to be honest, we are looking for another email. <laughs> I think I should go rest in my room for a while, so that is the cue that you should go back to your room. And we will go to our room eventually. Right now we need to go back over here uh, to the far right side. I know we have already fully explored this place, but there is another email, yes, another email that I am looking to get before we do go back to bed. Um, well, not really back, we didn't fall asleep, but before we go back to our room, um, I believe it is right down here. Do I have to go inside here? I swear it was like right around here. It's a little further down. It's it's definitely this corridor where I'm supposed to get the email, and I want to get this email. Um, do we have to go up through it? Down, up. Uh. No, I know it's somewhere around here. Uh, there's like specific controls for it. Okay, hold on while I try to figure this out. It is actually up through here? No? 
I'm having a little difficulty remembering exactly where I need to go. It is one of these holographic planes. There it is! There's an email for Xion! You have to be to the left of this plant! <laughs> it's a holographic plant, by the way. Uh, so we have an investment notice from medical supplies at Sujiyama Securities. Could be Sugiyama. See, my uh, Japanese is very bad. Just started the UM Fund, a new investment trust service anyone interested can participate in via the UMN. Um, the UM Fund, you must choose a single corporation when making an investment. Um, this, is, this is where things start going a little bit different. What are the benefits of investing? Companies pay dividends. In other words, they pay you stuff <laughs> or money. Some dividends companies pay out in includes items they manufacture. Uh, you can also expect special discounted sales prices. Uh, so I can invest in Hasegawa Biochemical. Investing in Hasegawa Biochemical should help reduce the time allocated to the R&D of this new drug. Um, it could strongly accelerate health restoration compared to products currently on the market. So health restoration. Then we have Vector Tannin Pharmaceuticals. It's a vo joint, vest, uh, joint venture between Vector and Tannin, of course. Um, wow, that is a lot of information about them. Invest, investing in Vector Tenon will surely help to spur their plans for growth as well as help in the development of new drugs, multiple drugs. And then we have Dawson Pharmaceuticals, a new status abnormality recovery drug said to be in development. We haven't gone over status abnormality recovery drugs, uh, but to be honest, too, so I don't need that much. The amount of your investment will be the same regardless of the corporation chosen. So I have to have 500 G. Once again, we're on G. I don't know what it means, but it doesn't mean gil, I'm sure. So maybe gold? I don't know. This is the future. Space box. Please read the articles related to our recommended stocks thoroughly prior to replying to this email to inform us of your investment selection and reply as soon as possible. Please note that any email we receive after a specific period of time will not be accepted. So I, you pretty much have to make your decision now uh, before you go to bed. That'd be that'd be the, the point um, that you would have to make it. So what I am going to do, um, actually read, reply, uh, you, you do have the three options. Um, They'll all give you stuff, uh, but I will invest in in Vector. Vector, of course, does everything, so of course they're going to give me something a little bit more than just pharmaceuticals. Uh, it will enrich their line of products like the Ether Pack. Does it actually say what you guys do? Um, yeah, just a restoration drug there, and the status abnormality drug. I, I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend Vector. So that's that's what I'm going to do. That's what I would recommend. Uh, you will get more than one reward. Uh, I believe for all of them. But I, I'm going to go with Vector. So that is all that I think we need to do. And so we can just go back to... I believe we can just go back to Xion's room now. Uh, should I desire, I could do more um, level grinding with the, the the egg simulator, the passport, the battle passport. I don't think I want to do that. Uh, actually, I don't think the, the passport works. Um, it needs a special type of save point but that I don't think we have just yet. So, I could do that. I'm going to try to avoid any kind of level grinding, especially this early in the game, but uh, it is probably recommended that you do some, if, if especially if you're struggling, but I haven't had any struggles just yet. Uh, so, I'm going to avoid it. We have a long way to go, if I remember right quite a journey back to Xion's room. Did you ever find your key, dude? No, no, he didn't. 
Um, yeah, level 7 would be where you want to go, I would recommend, but I, I'm pretty confident with where I am right now, and I'm only, what, level 3? Maybe level 4? I think I got up to level 4 with that, that one battle. I think that is good enough. So I'm just going to continue heading out of here. I know this has been quite the long session, um, quite, quite the informational session, the informative session. I hope you guys don't mind that too much. This is a very informative game. Uh, it does pick up, though. I, I will say that this is all still... Wait. Damn it, this is the Reallian Infirmary. I didn't want to go there. I feel like he changed something. Uh, no, no, this is... Damn it. That is the right way. Yeah, let me back in. This is the right way out. Now we can go out the door that was blocked off before. You have to go through the Reallian Infirmary in order to get to the, uh, to the bridge, which is kind of weird. Now we can go through this door, which is the way that we went in in order to get to the Reallian Infirmary. And of course, Xion's room is pretty much just on the other side over here, which is probably why they call her so much. So let's just head back over to Xion's room, which is just down here a little bit. From what I remember, right? No, it's past the Reallian. I will remember the layout of the Moglinde at some point. It's not here. It's past this guy that we freaked out, past the door that we can't do anything with. We will figure out what to do with those doors eventually. Here is Xion's room. That was a grave mistake, Cherenkov. What? I believe I already warned you about the dangers of the Zohar. What's the Zohar? You should have been more careful while retrieving it. Yes, sir. I'm afraid there's no excuse for the fatalities that occurred during the recovery. Who are you talking However, to? However, we can... That's a trivial matter. Forget it. The problem is that those people touched the Zohar and then vanished. Yeah. And, in addition oh. to that, you're still transporting it while exposed to normal space. Who are you? But at least we have a name for the thing. Because the Zohar. Because of we've had to move the plan up two phases. We can't have the Zohar falling into the government's hands. Two phases? But why are you... We picked up local UMN activity on our EPR radar. The fleet is column jumping towards the position of your convoy. What? They'll cross your vector in five hours, 22 minutes. What fleet? No, it can't be. Them? I Them? told you. Made a grave mistake. We dispatched reinforcements an hour ago. So keep it safe at all costs until they arrive. W will they make it in time? Just keep it safe until they arrive. I don't care if you have to send it into hyperspace by itself. Fortunately for you, your ship is carrying that weapon. I don't know what Vector's up to, but. Take advantage of the situation if you can. Excuse me, sir, but they haven't even started field testing it yet. It's too risky. We need Cosmos, apparently. You of all people should be cognizant of its power. I don't care if it's unstable. Make them hurry. But, but, sir. That is all. Commander, wait. Commander Margulis. Margulis. So we do get a name. Who's this Margulis? Oh, he's next to the treasure chest. Damn it, I want the treasure chest that's in there. You hit it with the chair, but I know it's there. I want that treasure chest. So, apparently we're in some great Like I told you before, I can't go anywhere until my project stabilizes. Don't you remember? You know how long you've been saying that? I haven't seen you for two years now. You can Who's at least come home for our parents' memorial. Where's your sense of filial duty? Ah, it's her brother. Memorial? Oh, come on. Why are you trying to resurrect obscure ancient rituals? Wait a minute. 
You've been reading those weird old books again, haven't you? I swear you're so obsessed with those precious books of yours. That is none of your business, thank you very much. Uh, how many times must I tell you not to quibble about my way of life? What do you mean, way of life? All that stuff's just a stupid old hobby for you. Just remember, don't expect me to take you in when you're old senile and all alone. That's terribly rude of you, Xion. Don't worry about me. Just promise me you'll come home this year, okay? If you don't... All right, all right, when I get some time off. Look, gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait. I'm not going to let you dodge the question again. Hello? Hello? Huh. Honestly, I wish he'd consider my feelings for a change. I must admit, I did not remember this scene. This is this is one of the first times I've seen that scene since moving on to the other games, the second and, and third games. Um, I will tell you this: you're not going to remember that voice for him. Uh, he he is in the later games. Um, I, I hope I'm not spoiling too much there, but uh, wow, that was weird. Okay, <laughs> we'll just move on. Uh, yes, we'll just rest a bit. Uh, no, I'm a little worried about everybody. I should check on everyone. Uh, we're we're not actually going to do that. We're just gonna we're just gonna save here and then we'll go to sleep uh, next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga. We're gonna talk about her brother more. Th that was just so weird to me. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. What kind of voice was that? <laughs>